What's up, Familia? Your girl Miranda here, back with another taste test. And as you can see, I have my lovely sister, Sierra, joining me today. She came to visit, so we thought we would go ahead and do a little taste test video for you today. So I picked up a few things last time I was at Big Lots, um, and then I did find an item, and she also found a couple items at our local Fred Meyer, which is kind of like everybody else's Kroger, um, if you will. So... Let's go ahead and get into this. Um, I have here a couple of drinks that we're gonna be trying. So if you guys like those uh, singles to go, pick these up at Big Lots for a dollar a piece. You get six in here, but you have this uh, margarita drink mix. It's not an alcoholic. It's just supposed to take like take taste like a uh, like a lime margarita, I guess. It's by Margaritaville, and we also have the pina colada one, which is kind of looking a little weird. I don't know. So it's a little iffy, but this is the pina colada, and then the green one is obviously the lime. So we will be trying those out. But anywho, let's go ahead and see what all is here. All right, so first up, my sister found these Cheez Its. They are buffalo wing flavored. I don't think I've ever had these ones. Hopefully, they're not too spicy because some buffalo stuff can be spicy. I want them to be spicy. And then they can also be a little bit acidic sometimes. So we'll yeah. see. We will see. Um, she picked these up at our Fred Meyer. Again, a.k.a. Kroger. I swear it's only Fred Meyer like in a few states. Everywhere else it's Kroger. I don't know why. I guess it would just make more sense to call them all Kroger. Since Fred Meyer sells yeah. Kroger brand. Yeah. I don't know. Well, they smell like a regular cheese in it. I don't know. Get no like buffalo. Mm -hmm. No nothing. I get a little like acidic smell. No. Not even, underneath. not even. Then again, my smelling's been awful lately. So. Yeah, allergies. Let's see. Oh, there's actually quite a bit of like stuff on it. You won't pick it up in the camera, but you can kind of see there. All right. I licked it. It's actually not bad. It's like a light flavor. It definitely tastes like buffalo yeah. wings. No. Like just an original buffalo wing. To me, it does a little bit, but it's not like an overwhelming flavor. Yeah, I wish and it was not more spicy. flavorful. Because I, when I licked it, like it was just spicy. Like the stuff, the stuff that's coming in spicy. Taste spicy but then at the all. cracker tastes like more acidic. I don't know. Can I have another one? Yeah. To me, it has a slight buffalo wing flavor. Nothing major. Nothing spicy. Um, there is that like acidity to it, but uh -huh. it's not like overwhelming and it's not spicy. I licked one side. They're all right, I guess. The flavor's there a little them. bit. I have to eat, okay, out of all the flavors versus like white, white cheddar, grooves. white grooves are good, the best. but like regular Cheez Its are good, but I actually really like these. I don't know. Oh, they're okay to me. All right, next up, we are doing these Harvest Snaps Popper Duos. It's yellow and white cheddar. There's some sort of a green pea crisp. I think Harvest green, Snaps, green aren't they the ones that make those, like, uh, actually little like green little, beans. yeah, that they sell those, like, at the Dollar Tree and, like, a bunch of different flavors. They're good. Um, they don't sell them only at Dollar Tree. They well, sell them, like, I, I mean, I'm sure they do, but I've seen them, like, the individual size packs at Dollar Tree and, like, oh. a ton of flavors, so. Um, but we got this. Hopefully... I don't know. We'll see. Could be super cheesy. Could be not. So we have these. Let's see if he'll eat them. Be like green peas. Sometimes. What is the salad Depends. you used to make that had like, was Ooh. it tuna and green peas and like? Yes. This smell really cheesy. <laughs> it was tuna fish, peas, and corn. Wow. I imagine them to be like more green, but they're like. But they have green in up. it. Like, very cheesy looking. But they do have kind of like an off color because of like the green specks in it. They smell green. They smell really cheesy. Let's try it. Mmm. I like it. It's not as airy as like a cheese puff. No, it's but more, it has more like crunch. crunch. I like it though. And the cheese taste is kind of mild. Yeah, but you can definitely taste like an herb in there. But this is like hearty, and I like it. What mm. is that? There's something herby. Kind of reminds me of like the garden herb uh, Triscuits. 
Mm-hmm. Like that flavor that okay, it has. So there, I knew. So it definitely has. I knew it had garlic in it. So it definitely has onion and garlic in it. I think you can taste the onion. Mm-hmm. Rosemary extract, but like maybe a little bit. I don't know. It's cheesy. It's herby. You can taste some onion in there. They're actually pretty good. It does remind me of a Triscuit, but this is just more garden cheesy. Herb, yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. So if you like the garden herb uh, blend of the Triscuits, that's pretty much what that kind of tastes like, but with the cheese. So yeah, I like those. All right, um, and the poppers, right, I don't know if I mentioned, those were from Big Lots. Uh, we have a couple of uh, biscottis here um, that we got from Big Lots that we'll be trying out. I think uh, she wants to start off with the blueberry ones, so we'll go ahead and do these ones and we'll do the other we'll flavor split a lately. Later. Wow, I can't even talk. It's been a long day. It's been a long day. Yeah, but you've had a long nap. And so did you. I know. I'm old. I'm supposed to nap. Yeah, but who says okay. what the napping was from? Ooh. Look at that. It smells really good. You can see the blueberries and stuff in it. So we will split this. And it has was it like Ooh, oats. Look at the top. It has it's like oats and a drizzle on it sprinkled with oats that's the bottom nice so, oh. love that Pep. oh that didn't work out very well but anyway it, it smells, smells really good it has raisins in it raisins that's no. a raisin i think it's supposed to be a blueberry or is it a cranberry i don't I know, don't know. Um, it looks like a cranberry or something of some mm. sort in there i don't know oh It's like a blueberry muffin, but hard. Yeah, it is hard. <laughs> but it's a biscotti. It's supposed to be hard. I know, What's but like, with like coffee or tea. I know. Oh, it has those, like the blueberries are chewy. Yes, exactly. That's like what... the chewy kind of like stick to your teeth. I don't like it. I don't like. I like my biscotti is just like kind of plain because they're already so hard to chew, and then when you add like textured stuff, a to lot it. more textured <laughs> stuff, it's kind of annoying. I like it though. I mean, I'm not it saying it's not good. good. Flavor. I just not like a huge fan of like the blueberries in it since they like stick to your teeth. Mm-hmm. But the icing is good. The icing Blueberry. is not like overly sweet. It kind of tastes like almost like a yogurt to me. Blueberry flavored cranberries. What the heck? Oh. What the heck? Blueberries. What does that even mean? Almonds, oats, baking powder. I don't know. I probably I don't know. Blueberry that maybe they don't. These are good. I like these. I, I think I, I would purchase them again. My nonies. For big lots, you guys. I know. <laughs> All right, you guys. So next up, we are going to be trying out the margarita lime mix thingy, whatever. The singles one. I'm sure you guys have had plenty of other flavors from elsewhere, but it smells good. It smells like lime. It smells like lime Kool-Aid. Yeah, it does. You want to go first? I'll backwash. No, ew. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes when I was when I was younger, Miranda would have an energy drink and she'd let me have a sip and she's like, I backwash. I don't remember this. Mm. You lie. No, you don't lie, lie, sister. You're the one you who lie. taught me how to do that. You were I was like, what's that? And you're like, oh I drew I put it in my mouth and then I took what? it out. You're insane. No, you, you taught me how to insane. backwash. You taught me how to backwash. You have no idea what you're talking about. Yes, I do. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I'll save my judgments until you had a drink. <laughs> okay. I don't know if it's gonna be good or bad. Oh my god! <laughs> very I think it has a very light flavor. It does. It's actually not bad though because most of those uh, little singles packet thingies, <laughs> when you add it to the water bottle, they tend to be like, it says chalky. zero sugar. Well, they are kind of chalky, but some of them are like really, really sweet, even though they say that they don't yeah. have like sugar in it it's like this. It's not very sweet. But this not one's very not very flavorful. sweet. And for those of you that have never seen one of these, it looks like this. You just tear it and you pour it into a thing of water. I think for kids... For people who don't like drinking water, this is probably a good alternative. 
Because it doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't. It has only like a but slight this is, flavor. This is good. It's not an overwhelming lime flavor if you're not a huge lime fan. It fan. It's not like sour. Um, it's not overly sweet. I'd say it's like just the perfect blend. So I like this one. This it is really my good. Hurts teeth a little bit. It doesn't hurt my teeth a lot. Are we like gonna that. try this, or are we gonna wait for this? We'll wait for the other one. We'll try a couple things, and then we'll try the other one. Do you like pina colada? All right, next up from Big Boss, you guys. I was so happy to come across these. I had thought I'd done a review on these already, and I was going through my videos, and I did not see anything, and I honestly don't remember. I even asked my kids, and, you know, they're pretty good <laughs> about remembering things. Um, so today we have the Hostess Cotton Candy Flavored Twinkies. I love cotton candy. Anything you what guys know this? this? What? Is this? What? What are these? Those? That's like a purple cupcake from like Easter time. Yeah, but instead of I it being chocolate, purple. it's just purple. I want a purple cupcake. All right, the limited edition, Hostess you guys. Cake. It's called Hostess. Do you cake. want to share or do you want your to own? Share. Okay. I've never really been a huge fan of Twinkies. Why do these look like much smaller? Probably much because they probably are. And I also the packaging is nice. It's like, oh, it's like three spring. yellow, not yellow, pink flowers. It smells like a regular Twinkie. You can't like smell the cotton candy through it. Uh, I, I hate how be, sticky this is. I will yeah. be honest. I don't really like Twinkies. Me either. I think they're the my least favorite. You can see. They just have a weird aftertaste. That's like the one thing that I don't like about them. No, man. I wish I got napkins because this is like pretty sticky. What the heck? That's fine, whiny baby. Eh. It's fine. All right, let's like that, you guys. It's Ooh. pink. Oh, you open it up and then it really smells like. It's a little candy. bit. It's not like strong. Okay, fine. That taste okay. gets in the way of the bread, the sponge. Yes, yes. the sponge is it's very grossness gets in the way. Mm -hmm. That giant cat. Yay! <laughs> Get down, girl. Shh. She got it down. Yeah, the sponge is so overwhelming. You get like a little bit of a punch at the end. That's what I that's what I tasted was a bit more of like a punch at the end of the cotton candy flavor. No, I don't like that. That was disappointing. Boo. All right, next up, another item picked up at Big Lots was the Hostess Donuts Strawberry Cheesecake Mini Donuts. Um, she actually says that she's had these. I have not. So it'll be something new for me to try. Got them at Fred Meyer slash Kroger. Kroger. Also. Oh, they smell good. They smell strawberry. You still want one. Yeah. Um, I think they're okay. They're okay. Did you know that Dollar Tree got bought by Dollar General? They did? That's what mom told me. When? Recently? Oh, I don't know. I don't really shop too much at Dollar Tree anymore, so <gasps> I don't really know. Ooh, Ooh I've been wanting to go though. to Je I've, I've been wanting to go to Dollar General, but they're all the way out in Hubbard. Hubbard and then Independence. Hubbard. <laughs> yeah, Hubbard. Okay. Oh. Ooh. Interesting. I find this donut to be kind of like airy. Like it's super soft inside. That's, That's really a really good there. strawberry flavor. Well, I don't really buy these donuts, so I don't really know. Mm. It's a little dense. Did I try these or I must have tried these, but I also they came out they with the strawberry with so lemonade. Many. Those were the ones that we tried. Remember you bought them? Or what did I buy them? No, but I thought they came out with like mini version. Like those, oh, I don't know. Like the bigger ones. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. They're pretty good. They're decent. Decent. My Definitely tastes like strawberry. Mm -hmm. You know what I had? I had Probably cinnamon like glaze on it. The other day, I had cinnamon dolce. Cinnamon dolce. Boy. Yeah. Of those 
of this. Little donuts. Oh, not really how you do They it? weren't. They were meh. They were meh. I honestly think my meh. favorite ones are probably just the powdered ones, just the plain powdered ones. Okay. What's All right. next? What do you want to do next? Um. I don't know. I need something to wash the, the okay, duck out of my Okay, then we will uh, try the uh, pina colada. Pina you colada. Pina colada. Get this one, I will say when I mix it, it was a lot more like mm -hmm. chalky, so I don't know. Mm -hmm. And I just don't know how I feel about like a pina colada. Like, I don't know, it looks like watered down milk. It definitely smells like pina colada. You can smell the coconut. At a bar called O'Malley's, where we'll plan our escape. Boo -doo 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 -doo. Uh. <laughs> that was like right when it hit my tongue. I was like, nope, mm. nope. <laughs> like seriously, right when it hits your tongue, you just know, like okay. that's a big no. I don't know. I don't, no. know. I don't know if the consistency uh. is a little bit thicker or something like that but it's still like this brand it tastes it just tastes really watered down and i don't think the pina colada goes with it it tastes down like pina it, it, first of all it reminds me of watered down milk <laughs> that's what i said you're not listening no oh my goodness i said it even looks like it's like watered down milk it the coconut is more overwhelming than the pineapple but <laughs> Just yes. right when it hits your tongue, no joke. Yes. It is just, it's bad, you, know you guys know. This isn't it, and the song Escape is what? not get good either. What is it? What? Escape? Escape? That's, what are you the, about? that's the Pina Colada song. Escape. If you like Pina Colada, I don't know. Uh, so if you, if you see these, you guys, stick to this one. Do not get this one. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. Okay. okay, she has something to say. I was just saying how about the song Escape, like pina, the Pina Colada song, is that you sing it when you don't really know it, and then you actually listen to it, and it's like about a guy who cheats on his wife, and then his wife is like cheating on him with him because she doesn't know. <laughs> so he, he sets out like a like an ad in the newspaper, and she, or like I think she does, and then he answers it, and then they they meet at a bar called O'Malley's where they plan their escape. It's this they're married and they're like, oh, I didn't know this about you, but they were fully ready to cheat on each other. This is a very bad toxic relationship. Okay. Uh, I feel like it's kind of like a lot of people do that nowadays. What? Just saying. What? what it's do you to help mean? like spice up the relationship. What, you bring in a third? I, I don't understand. I don't know. I mean, there's pol there's polygamy, there's polyamory, and then there's monogamy. Like, I don't know. They're just trying to date each other. I know they're trying to date each other. I think that they, it's dumb. They could have just gone to couples therapy. <laughs> okay. Instead Not of, everybody like, can afford couples therapy. That's true. That is true. <laughs> I don't know. All right, next up, we are trying these Warheads Ooze Chews. Warheads. I know, I love Warheads. No. I love them growing up. I'm not a I always used to like person. to see, like, how many I could fit in my mouth. I'm Though surprised. one time they kind of, like, burned my tongue. I was about to say, I'm surprised <laughs> you didn't get a hole in your mouth from all the acidity. All right. Or your teeth didn't erode Let's away. Let's see what flavors there. Mango, strawberry, green apple, black cherry, watermelon, and blue raspberry. But I'm not really a huge fan of when they have, like, this sour straw, like, filled. Because you can see they have, like, a white filling in them. I like them. They don't. I don't know. They're just weird. You want them for a dollar? Yeah. Wow. You can find cool candy at Big Lots. For uh, a dollar, sister. Holla, holla for Portland. a dollar. Uh, maybe I should, like, uh, I hate the shower sugar crap. Uh, what shower sugar? They're actually bigger than I thought. They look, like, tiny in the picture. I don't know. Yeah. Oh. All right. That's super chewy. Yeah. That is one hard. Um, they're probably stale or something. They're not stale. They're not Best sour Best Buy, June 4th, 2022. 
Very, very chewy. <laughs> I love it sour. Making my jaw spasm. They're like not even really sour though. I like the flavor it has. Mm -hmm, but it's not sour. It's just it's liar. I found that sour. It, it's not like in your face sour like a warhead is supposed to be. The flavor is good. Well, you can't expect it to have like the same sourness, this texture candy as the regular like warhead or whatever. I like them though. Those are good. They're just, they're really chewy. Really chewy like licorice, whatever. All right, next up. Should do these. Okay. Those All right. Really My mind. sister found these. These are the Pop Tart Freeps. So we're gonna try these. I've tried them. What? You weren't supposed to try them without me, you jerk. No, you said save me one. Uh, you're supposed to try them with me. No. Your yeah, mom said, already had them. Well, then yeah. you don't need to try them. Good. You know. My mom says that they're pretty overwhelming, though, so. Yeah, they are. They're very sweet. I know, and I don't want to judge smell it. definitely like it. But look at, look at what's on the pop tarts, though. I know. I, what the hell is that? Oh, it's a spoon. Okay, it's a spoon with the I the think they're cool. Loops. And then you gotta look at the other one. Really? You're making pull both yes. of them out? Yes. This one. What is this? Oh! oh it's a pair of glasses. Oh, I'm sorry. What? Well, uh, they're they're probably all different. Yeah, they're all different. I had a bird it on It shows mine. you right here. All oh. the different ones. <laughs> so <laughs> these are all the images that can come on them. I like the bird. The, what is I'm he? with Sam. Toucan. Toucan. The toucan. All right. Well, I will try one. <laughs> it's, that one's like already kind of cracked. I know. Cracked. It's like cracked. My no, no pop crack. tart is on crack. It smells really good. Very like off, like pinkish color inside. It reminds me of the red fruit lube. <laughs> Definitely tastes like fruit loops, you guys. Definitely. I think the kids will like these. The kids will like these. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably. It is a tad bit overwhelming. A tad bit on the sweet side. But it tastes just a like fruit loops. Bit. I don't know. I feel like it's too overwhelmingly Fruit Loops. Because with Fruit Loops, I don't know. Like, I don't think they're Fruit Loops like have that. an overwhelming flavor. I don't, I don't know. Feels good, you guys. All right, next up. Let's get this out of the way. So this one I actually picked up at Grocery Outlet, you guys. If you guys watched my last grocery haul, these are the Wisps Barbecue Bacon Cheese flavored. I've actually never had any of these. Have you ever had these? I've always heard good things Wait, about them. Are they like? They're like the fried cheese. Yeah. I haven't had them before. I have never had them, but I've they- just I'm always sure heard good things about them. They though. have like the texture of like Parmesan crisp or something, Whoa. like something that are like really They smell hard. cheesy. I can kind of smell the bacon, but I don't really smell barbecue. You don't get very many in here, though. Like, you see that? What? Yeah, you don't get very many in here. That's lame. Yeah, like, what a ripoff. Rip. Am but I, I right thought people? these would be a fun flavor to try. Yeah, bacon barbecue. Parmesan I tried to make my own texture. ones. I tried to make my own ones, and it did not work out. Yeah. It was, like, burnt. So... Oh, they're very, what do you call it, like waxy or the texture is weird. What is that? Dude, cheese, hard, not it. It's like hard and waxy. Yeah, because that's like American cheese. At least Parmesan, it doesn't have like an overwhelming do you flavor get of wax. Barbecue? I do not like uh, a little bit salty. when you it's super salty <laughs> super salty there's like maybe a hint of bacon but I don't really taste barbecue at all I dare you let one of the cats lick it and Ew. see what their reaction is their cats will eat anything well, yeah but have you ever seen like a cat or a dog like eat a lemon or something like that they're like know. they like lick it and then they're like I'm not a fan no no, no. I don't like the texture either so. AF. 
let's do all right what are we doing here twinkies all right we have another twinkie flavor to try you guys pretty excited for this one too box kind of got a little bit damaged because my kid sat on it but <laughs> we have the lemonade sand and these are from fred meyer slash kroger my yeah. kid sat on my Twinkies. Yes. Not clickbait. <laughs> what? My kids my, you, while that's, you sat on them. No, no, that's the title of this video. No. My kids sat on my Twinkies. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Exactly. It's not a lie. All right, here's another one. I feel like over the years these have gotten smaller in size or something. Yes. Like regular. Oh, they look so weird. You're weird. They just, ugh, the texture of it just looks Again, pink gross. stuff inside. I don't know. Ah, why is this so sticky? Look at this crap. Look at this. Look at this. It's sticking on my fingers. Ooh. Like, what the heck? All right. It kind of smells like lemonade, I guess. I like this a lot more. I don't know if it tastes like strawberry. I don't really get like lemonade. Really? What do you think it tastes like? I taste the lemon more. I don't know. I taste strawberry. And I have all this junk in my fingers. I like that one better than the cotton candy one though. This one actually the aftertaste isn't as bad. I mean, the rest the of the The cotton candy one, fine. though, the aftertaste was really gross. Oh my gosh. All right, last item for today is the Noni's Key Lime Coconut Biscottis. Is it the last one? Already? Yes, it is. That's it. That's. <laughs> There's dogs next to her, like always go crazy. Me, oh my, my goodness. I know it doesn't match your beanie. My shirt. My shirt. Goosebumps. Okay, this one you can see definitely has like the coconut flakes on top of it. Coconut. And then you have the drizzle. Ooh, it smells coconutty. Shut your dogs up! Oh. <laughs> oh. I think because we have some of that drink, I can't yeah, really probably. taste it. Yeah, probably. I can't really <laughs> taste the lime. I can taste the coconut. It's actually pretty light flavored. Oh. Oh. The lime is like in the drizzle. Like, I feel like there's like little pieces of it or something. So I just got this like weird little like sour taste or something. I like the frosting. <laughs> I was like, mm. <laughs> It has to be. The lime has to be in the drizzle. That's okay. I like the blueberry ones better. People will be ordering Starbucks drinks. They're like, the caramel drizzle, the caramel drizzle. But what about the lime drizzle? I'm gonna have like a lime coffee. Do they? Summer drink. I don't know. Starbucks pay me. That one's weird. You just get like really weird, random like bursts of like sourness. Oh, I thought you were talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> You're weird. <laughs> You're weird. All right, you guys, that is it for this taste test. Sorry, we got a little bit chatty there, um, but hopefully you guys enjoy it and hopefully you guys can find some of these items, whether it be at Big Lots or at your local grocery store, wherever. Thank you so, so much for watching. Join the family if you have not, and we'll see you again. Don't, Next time. Don't forget to like and just subscribe. <laughs> yes, what she said. Thank you. <laughs>